Hi, I'm Tom McCormick. Joining me is one of the world's preeminent authorities on lemurs. She's a primatologist, an anthropologist, and a conservationist. But she is most known for her in-depth study of social family interactions among the wild lemurs of Madagascar. Dr. Patricia Wright, welcome to our show. So glad to have you. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. So now, when did you first realize your passion for this particular primate? You know, it was my first job was at Duke University, and there is a lemur center there. And I went to Madagascar as a, a project to try to find a lemur that we thought was extinct. We weren't sure whether it was extinct or not. And then I uh, discovered a new lemur called the golden bamboo lemur. Oh, and what does he look like? Oh, he's beautiful. He's about five pounds, and, and he's golden color. But then the timber exploiters came and started to chop down the forest. I went to the Department of Water and Forest and said, you know, this is a beautiful forest. We have all these different species of lemurs in it. Please protect it. And he said, well, Madagascar is too poor. And then he turned to me and he said, but you, Madame Patricia, if you find the money, we'll do everything we can to help. And I said, oh, dear, if I don't do it, these animals will go extinct. And so that's the moment that I became a, a fundraiser, a conservationist. Why are lemurs so endangered? Even though Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world, it's also the last place that humans found. And when uh, the second wave of people came, they brought cattle, and then people started to, to burn forest for the cattle to graze on. So we had a lot of destruction. And about 90% of Madagascar has been devastated, and it's, uh, much of it is, is wasteland, which is a real shame because it has so many beautiful plants and animals that can be found nowhere else on Earth. But we conservationists are yes. optimistic. You know, the lemurs are beautiful, the forests are beautiful, and we are working very hard to save what's left. Now, what is the most endangered species of lemur? There's... Uh, several that are extremely endangered. One of them is a what we call a lepa lemur, which is a sportive lemur way up north. I think there's only 37 that we've been able to find. Oh. So that's pretty close to extinction. One of my very favorite, the greater bamboo lemur, there's about 500 left, and that's not very many either. No. No. But the little mouse lemur, you know, yeah. <laughs> he seems to be doing very well and seems to be able to even live in disturbed habitat. So there's thousands, oh, good. Okay. thousands of them. I think one of the ways that we are working on saving them is to bring tourists in, and tourists will bring with them funding for the local people. And then when the local people are busy saving lemurs, they won't be hunting them or they won't be... Chopping uh, down their homes exactly. or that kind of thing. Once the lemurs have a value to them too, mm. then they will definitely help protect them. What can people do to help? Well, people can start by spreading awareness about lemurs. I have a website called centervalbio.org. Uh, and that site is a, a place where we accept a donation. But it's very important that people understand how endangered these animals are and what a shame it would be to, to lose them. Dr. Wright, it has been such a pleasure speaking with you. I think you are just uh, so admirable and so wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank all of you, our SiriusXM listeners, for tuning in. I'm Tom McCormick, and this is SiriusXM Stars, Channel 109. Talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.